Hi everyone, welcome to the very low HDL crash course. The motivation behind this course is to cover each and every important concept related to very low HDL, which are very important from VLSI interview perspective. So here we will be covering almost every concept related to very low HDL with proper examples. The target audience for this course would be VLSI fresher students as well as the professionals who are in their early career stage. So let's get started. So in the first module of this course, we will be covering about brief introduction of Verilog SDL and then we will see different level of abstraction. The meaning of different level of abstraction here is during the IC design, at what different different levels we can do Verilog SDL modeling. Our next module in this course will be on lexical tokens where we will be covering about white space, comments, numbers, identifiers, operators, and very low keywords. So, that, so basically in this module, we will be seeing what old tokens are there which will constitute a very low HDL code like white space, comments, identifiers, and very low keywords. In the next module, we will be covering about data types where we will see the value associated with the data and also the data types of some of the very low keyword like input, output or in out and we will cover the data types like wire, register, shuffle data type and time and parameter. In the next module of this course, we will be covering about very low operators where we will be covering different types of very low operators like arithmetic operator, bitwise operators, conditional operators, concateness operator, reduction operator etc and in the next module we will be covering operands so operands is nothing but the entity on which a particular operation has to be performed so the example would be literals which will constitute our strings and numbers and then we can have wires register data parameter bit select and part select of a particular signal and function in the next module we will be seeing about module declaration, module instantiation and then how we can write a parameterized module and can instantiate it on top design and also we will be covering about continuous assignments. Moving further in our module 7 we will be covering about behavioral modeling where we will see different concepts in very low SDL like procedural assignments, delays, blocking and non-blocking assignments very low keywords like begin and end, very low SDL loops like for loops, while loop, forever loop and then we will also see about if else, if statements and case statements. Moving further, we will be covering about timing controls in very low SDL. So what are all the timing control statements in very low SDL and how they work? In this particular timing control module, we will be covering about all those. In the next module, module number 9, we will be covering always and initial blocks. So here we will see what is an always block, what is an initial block and how we can make use of always and initial block in our very low HDL design or test bench code. Then we will be covering our very low HDL functions. So here we will see how to declare a function, how to call a function and how a function returns a value and then all the rules which are associated with function declaration with proper example. Then we will be covering about task and here we will see what is task and how it is different from a function and what are all the constraints associated with that task. And moving forward we will be covering about component interface. So here actually we will be writing some Verilog SDL code and we will see how a Verilog SDL code infers a digital hardware. For example, how a register is inferred from Verilog SDL, how a counter is inferred, how a multiplexer is inferred, etc. And then we will be covering about finite state machines. Here we will see different types of finite state machine and how we can implement finite state machines using Verilog SDL. We will see some example of counters and shift register in this module. And then we will be covering about memories. So here we will see how to 
declare a memory, how to initialize a memory and how we can make read and write, ac write access to a memory. And in our module number 15, we will be covering about compiler directives. Here we will see what are old compiler directives, what a compiler directive is and how it is useful in very low HDL coding. So basically compiler directives are very important in writing an efficient very low HDL code. And then we will be covering about system tasks where we will going through each and every system task. So system task is nothing but some inbuilt very low HDL task which we can make huge in our very low HDL coding whether it is design or a test bench. So system tasks are basically very helpful in design test bench or in simulating a design. Then we will be covering about test benches where we will write a test bench for a particular design and we will also see about synchronous test bench. And then I will cover some of the interview questions which are asked to me during my interview process. And I will then cover some of the frequently asked questions in in VLSI interviews and then I will be providing a very low SDL practice question bank. So I hope this particular course is going to be very helpful for you during your interview process. Here each and every modules would be an average of 10 minutes long and that will constitute a total of 200 minutes that means 3 hours and 20 minutes course. So believe me, these 3 hours and 20 minutes are going to be very useful in building your very low HDL concepts. See you soon in the first module of this very low HDL crash course. Thank you very much.